Okay, folks, let's try to beat Shiraku again. We got him. If you yeah, tend to stay at the extreme top or bottom, he uh, usually tends to gravitate that way and stay on your uh, path. That's the easiest way to beam spam him to death. I've tried doing it other ways, but it's never ended well. Oh, he's right. It is just the beginning. Time skip. Astro the genius. Yes, Rock. Stay. Be a good man with your Saint Seiya cardboard armor. Way to cosplay. He's a good guy now. And... Punch. Ho oh, ho. This is gonna be a cavalcade of death. Present is now hell. Five years. Great Scott. Pluto is very, very important to the Astro series. He's a thinking robot with emotions and extremely horrible amounts of attack power. That was invented as a test for Astro to become the best. But he started to care. 
which led to a lot of conflicts in the source material. Pluto also originally, I mean, recently got his own uh, manga series in a completely different style from the uh, original Tezuka style, showing uh, his side of the story and all stuff going on while he was created and whatnot. It's pretty good. Ah, uh, Shadow. Looks like a Batman Beyond villain. That's a good thing, though. Some robots are starting to dominate humanity. But the world paid the price. I guess that's kind of a very JRPG kind of uh, outcome. Oh, the world map's half as big. You can't visit the towns you visited on disc 1 and 2. North. Yeah, I don't really know where he's from, just that he is going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Dinku is an adorable little... I'm still not completely sure what gender Dinku is. But, uh... He did show up in the... 2003 series. He has uh, invisibility powers. Brontus. I have no idea. Epsilon showed up in 2003 series, too. That's the only way I'm familiar with these particular characters. And Pluto. We already talked about him. And you. Terry McGinnis will be dealing with you soon. It's now time for a gauntlet of boss fights. Can you dodge these six arms? We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. You see, there's a trick to this guy. You have to basically get him to block with his hand. Uh, so you have to kind of jump mid-section, get him to block, and then, ah, uh, I can do this right. It's been a while. It took me, ah, uh, forever to figure out this guy's pattern. Apparently I have to refigure it out. Ah, uh, like I was saying, you have to jump and hit him midway through his body, and get him to stick out a hand and block. And then, with, while he's blocking, you have to send out a laser and shoot his eyes. If you do anything else, he will automatically teleport in, put you in that death machine. It's unblockable, does a lot of damage, and very, very annoying. It took me forever to figure this out the first time I played. It's really unfair. Not all... okay, his uh, pattern changed. Because it's not a very obvious uh, way of beating anyone. Other than that, he's not all that bad. Compared to what's coming later. When I found out he was the easiest of all the bosses, I was actually kind of scared. And I just wasted an arm cannon. Uh, arm cannon should never be wasted. Yeah, you see, he just used one on me, but... Okay, enough of this. Bye-bye. There. That's what you get. And oh, we are upgrading life. Okay, it's time for Denku, but it's also time to stop for now. So, see you in a few. Later, folks.